First of all, I want to start with congrats on the season. Uh, uh-huh. You guys totally nailed it. Uh, fans are going to be super happy as well as super upset. It's, so it's <laughs> a, you know, it's one of those things. But before we get into it, I think a lot of fans actually, you guys look very similar. So I just want to throw out there for fans. Can you each say your name on camera so people can actually know who's talking with ease? That's right. Uh, I'm Ross. And I'm Matt. <laughs> so I usually have longer hair. That's the easiest way to tell the difference. That's true. Right. I'm not trying to, by the way, like, I, I'm just meaning, like, I think a lot of people would be like, wait, what? You know, like, well, in terms fair. of... We are, uh, we are identical twins. So we take no offense if you confuse us. No. People have been confusing us ever my entire life. Jumping into, before we get to Stranger Things, you guys just released a master class. And I'm so curious, at any point where you like, wait, they're, they're asking us to do a master class. Like yeah. we've like, you guys are super successful, but you've made one show. Do you exactly. know what I mean? I mean, you know, no, it's bizarre. I was like, I was like, are you sure you're calling the right people? Um, you know, no, it was super flattering. And then, and then, and then, you know, we just thought, well, um, you know, there were so many things, you know, where we, we struggled for a really long time to figure out how to write scripts. I mean, initially we just want, we're just, dreamed of being directors and it wasn't until we were in college that we're like okay nobody's gonna let us direct unless we have a script and we say you can't have it unless you direct that was like the the, the only smart thing I, I idea I, I came up with was in college and uh and and then it was then it just took a long time for us to figure out how to write and there were so many and, and we're from North Carolina we had no Hollywood connections out here um I mean zero I mean we went to school in Orange County and it was it, even that felt far away so um we're like well i think there's a lot of things i wish someone had told me um as an outsider that and so i do not consider myself a master of anything but i do think man i've learned a lot over the past like 15 years maybe it helps some somebody who's who's trying who's trying to do this and then it's also for anyone who's interested in how stranger things came to be i mean you don't have to want to be a writer hopefully to find the show or the class interesting you could just like the show you guys are clearly perfectionists. Did you end up spending way more time on doing the master class than you expected? Uh, yeah, absolutely. But it was, you know, it was a fascinating process. Mostly, you know, thank God for Google Docs because, you know, go. I went back into, you know, our original outline, and you know, it saves everything. You know, with uh, with Time Machine. So it was actually fascinating to go back and be like, what was day one? of brainstorming on Stranger Things when we first came up with the idea. And so it was interesting to sort of go back and see how it evolved and then try to communicate that to an audience. But I think just the fact that we have every tiny idea documented, I think is interesting. So, you know, it was, it was cool to, you know, share right. that. We, we don't use whiteboards. So we use, we've always just used Google Docs. So everything, you know, you see in real time, actually we found the moment we came up with, with 11 and, you know, we shared that and, you know, so it was actually, you know, it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I was juggling doing that with po- doing post on Stranger Things 5 was a little <laughs> slightly stressful, but I think it was worth it. I'm so curious. Obviously, you guys have such a juggernaut with Stranger Things, but I'm sure your agents are also like, can you do something else while you're doing Stranger Things? Or do they leave you alone? Or are they constantly sort of on you? I mean, you know, or especially once season one broke you know, you start, you know, getting more offers of other IP and things like that. And, but I think we discussed it. And then at a certain point we went, no, we want to tell the story and finish it. We don't want to try to hand it off. We want to see this all the way through. So that was communicated pretty early on and everyone, everyone got on board. So really only now, as we're seeing the, that finish line approach, are we starting to discuss what what that next next thing is gonna yeah be. people used to bring us stuff but they don't really bring us things <laughs> like we smart. said no enough that they, <laughs> they stopped <laughs> They're like oh these guys are just busy on crazy things so, <laughs> uh, yeah i think i think my next question is probably the most important i'm going to ask you in this entire interview uh who is better at the stranger things pinball machine <laughs> oh well i haven't oh. uh, that that is fortunately me um I, I i'm not great at pinball but i'm better at pinball I'm not better at pinball than my brother, but I currently have the high score. But here's the the, the truly embarrassing thing is I was like, I had the high score and my, we both have a machine at our house. That was like in the pinball contract. I was like, I got to get my own 
pinball machine. And this whole thing came about because David and Dan from Game of Thrones had it, that Game of Thrones pinball machine. And I was like super jealous of that. I said, how did you make that happen? And they're like, be sure to put in the contract that you get your own machine. So anyway, that's why we both have our own machines is because of Game of Thrones and Dan and David. And anyway, I have the top score at my house, but then there were renovations happening in my house. It was like a, I don't want to go into what, what um, my, my house situation, but then I was, so I was staying over at my brother's for a week and I took his top score at his house, which is just brutal. It's a ma- it's a matter of time before that, that. It's been about, Steve, to be clear, like five months since that happened. <laughs> and I have a baby. I have a baby. Like, so there's no, <laughs> he's got no excuse. All right. Well, it's coming. That's for us uh, changing. For people that have not actually played the Stranger Things pinball, it's yeah. really good. And it's, it's totally worth, it's just, a, you know, it's hard to find. It's like a limited edition. You know what I mean? It's a great, it, they did a terrific job with it. Um, it's really great. I think there's like a pin, pin side. What is it? Pin, there's like a, there's a pinball version of IMDb. And I think we're like, yeah, it's called, it's pin side. Pin side. Yeah. And yeah, we're like, right. top, we're definitely at least in the top 30 or 25 or something. It's a good machine. It's a great machine. Yeah. And it's getting better. They keep updating. It's like, I didn't realize, I didn't, I'm learning so much about pinball, but they update it. They patch it sort of like you can patch it sort of like you patch video games. Right. You, I mean, you know this, but like, I didn't know that. So it just keeps it, improving. It just, yeah, it just keeps improving. It's very hard to get the ball in the mouth of the Demogorgon, though. <laughs> um, so I don't even try because you're going down right in the middle of the lane. And I think it's just super dangerous. So I was like, I just don't do it anymore. And I think that's the key to my success. Yeah. I just stay clear of the Demogorgon. I just let him roar at me and then go away.